chiropractic and we've been getting a fair amount of questions in the office with pain on top of the foot so uh, we're, most of the time when people are feeling pain on top of the foot it's generally this area up here so I'll take my shoe off but people come in they'll take their shoe off and they'll say yeah it's hurting like right in here just to take my sock off if you feel these tendons on top here I'm pretty close here Holly can you see that so this, there's these tendons that are on top of your foot some people can see them really well and some people can't. It doesn't really matter, but what's happening almost all the time, not all the time, but frequently, I ask somebody to, like, we'll just put your shoe on like regular. And they go and they can't get two fingers into their shoelace. Now, I'm pretty borderline here on this being too tight on my shoe here, but if you can get two fingers into your shoe, generally speaking, it's loose enough where you're not constricting what's called the aponeuresis. So there's some soft tissue that comes across here and if you're con constricting that and you're putting pressure on there, it's just gonna create a ton of pain because you're gonna have pressure on the bottom part of your foot. So what can you do about it? First, first thing, when you tie up your shoe, make sure that you can get two fingers in it. So get in, and a little bit boring here, but when you tie your shoe, make sure you're not like cranking on it and pulling it tight. Ah, it actually hurts. <laughs> it actually hurts to do that. So make sure that you can get two fingers in there and then you just tie it really, really loose. It doesn't need to be too tight. Here's the thing. Right now I can get two fingers in there really easily. As you go through the course of your day, even if it doesn't feel like it's too tight immediately, swelling will pull the bottom of your feet just by being up and around. So we want to make sure that we've got uh, two fingers that can get in there. All right, so what do you do about the pain? So yeah, all right, well, I wanna go ahead and I wanna loosen up my, uh, my shoelace. Three exercises, one is the toe splay, where you're just going like this. It will help to get those tendons moving underneath that aponeresis, that soft tissue, right? Toe splay. Second thing you can do is just regular plantar flexion, come in like this, and you should feel a nice stretch on the top part there. That's number two, and the last thing is ABCs. A, B, C, D, all the way through Z, uppercase, and then you can do it lowercase. Just that little bit of motion should keep your feet nice and mobile. That on top of a loose shoelace, you should be good to go. This may or may not apply to you. Send us any questions directly. If, it, if, uh, if you've got any questions about whether or not you think you got something broken or if there's a bigger issue going on. All right, thanks, gang.